Animaniacs 2020, Season 2, Episode 9. Well, they had four of them, technically. Yeah. Four little shorts. Well, three shorts and one pinky in the brain. Yeah. Which, hey, Dex, uh, you were, ta- I mean, Maidrock, you were talking about uh, um, her just last, just last week. I forget. The what, the ex-wife? Brain's ex-wife? Oh, yeah. Wait. Which just really sounds weird to say. Did that watch that episode? Hmm? Uh... That watch episode? This is the one with, um, it starts with the mayfly. No, I don't wait. This is the one with with Brain having the two-hour back button. Yeah, I watched that one. But I checked. The last one was the one with the... I didn't watch last week's, but... That was season two, episode eight. I looked at the YouTube channel and said, "Okay, season two, episode eight. You did that last week, so I watched season two, episode nine. Yeah, I've seen them all already. So yeah, this is the one with <clears throat> Christopher Columbus. Uh... Yeah, because I was just going on from the next one that was on my Hulu. Uh, I don't have Hulu. I had to um, find it via other means, and so I just went and looked for the one that I watched last week, and then went to the one right after that. Ah. Good. Uh, it scared me for a second. It's like, wait, let's try it one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I double checked my. I double checked my YouTube. My, my YouTube to make sure I like okay I know I didn't watch last week's episode because like I don't know what to put yeah uh, let's see anyway I've always wanted one of those musical instruments they look kind of cool which musical instrument a bang bang Oh, the bang. Bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this flying saucer. Oh, okay. With the weird little snuffle up, I guess, looking thing. Yep. That, that was them and then turned out not to be them. <laughs> Although, I mean, even if they're you're not freaked out by the cre- being, I would be freaked out if, like, some being that I was dressed as thought I was one of them and tried to, like, hook up with me. Ooh. Oh, my. Yeah. No. It's like you're dressed as a skunk or something, and then an actual skunk is like, hey. <laughs> No, uh, there's like the uh, pretty sure it's like stage, but it's funny. There's like this one video of a guy uh, dressed up as a lion and uh, caught the attention of a male lion. Wait, was he dressed as a male lion? No, he was dressed as a female lion. Why would he dress as a female lion? A lioness. I have no idea. Maybe they were, he was confused by the cosplay and they were cosplaying as Peanuts characters and he thought they said Lioness when really they said Linus. I can see that. It's like, all right, I'm going to be Lucy and you be Peppermint Patty and you, you, you be Linus. Um, what, what? Yeah, you be Linus. Okay, I don't see how that's peanuts, but okay. 
dresses as a lioness. Okay. Uh, let's see. It wasn't really much to the first one. It was a funny gag and stuff. Yeah. It was simple, but it was fun. Yeah. Um, Mouse Madness had a lot of crazy stuff, like oh god, smart yeah, pinky, yeah. Uh, smart pinky, uh, 3D pinky, which was <laughs> okay. Um, while Brain was still. 2D somehow. <laughs> he was like paper. Uh, um, the one where he used his time machine to um, make bets in order to make money to follow his uh, plan. Yeah, yep. he, yeah. He would he would watch basketball games in the March Madness or you know their May Mania, which is. March Madness, but by a different non copyrighted name. And I don't would, even know what it is, but okay. Yeah, but they would, but he would write down the score and he would go back two hours and, and with, with the knowledge of what it, what the score was, place amazing bets with all the money he was, with the money he found around Acme, the little change, he made a little bet with that and he made a lot more out of that. And then every time he would bet the full lot and... Fun fact! In uh, the series Seven Days, the main character was kind of a, you know, a drunk gambler type. But the bad thing about it is he couldn't gamble when he went back in time, even though he thought he know knew the scores, because... The fact that he went back in time altered things, so those scores would be inaccurate. Kind <laughs> of a butterfly effect. Yeah. So the first time he tried, he tried to bet on some uh, basketball game or something. I think it was a basketball game or a wrestling match or something like that. And he lost because his going back in time altered the course of things, and they lost when he, they were supposed to win. <laughs> okay, so I, I have a question about brains, you know, going back in time to get the money thing. Um, if he keeps on going back in time two hours, how does he keep the money that he won? Okay, so what is he doing? What he's doing is he's okay, he's watching to the end of the game. He's going back two hours and placing the bet, and then waiting two hours from his from that point of view. Or he might have a jump forward button. Anyway, from that point of view, then he's living that two hours again, but away from himself. And then he's coming back after that two hours, or. Or no, I think he jumps back automatically or something. I don't know. He comes. He keeps coming back. So uh, I don't know whether he's coming back. I forget if he's coming back through a jump forward or living I through those two hours again. But I think it was by um, little device because that he destroyed the device, and he doesn't always go back the same amount of time. So he goes back to just before he, um... Yeah, he... he... But, no, Madrock is right. Madrock is right. I'm, I'm... Because if he goes back in time to the point before he made the bet, I mean, but before, and he makes the bet, at, but it's digital money, how does he retain that money when he travels back to carry that money over? Okay, he I put the money in the... first. He put the f a few cents in first. He makes the bet <laughs> yes. back in time. Okay. In. He goes he makes forward the for two hours. Two hours later. He, he gets the money. From... And that money is digital. He's not watching that money a is lot digital. of games next to you know, that are running concurrently at the same yeah. time. He's watching them in series so every day every time he watches a new game he takes he takes the money he won because at the end of the game 
he gets the payout. Because he made the bet before the game. He he made the bet before the game. Uh, as yeah, far but as the account the is concerned. The way it seems, it looks like he's make um he's making the bet on the same uh, game. Yeah, it's not if you watch because it, sh it shows the different scores and the different teams going along the bracket. He's making different ah. bets on different on different games. So, ah. so he's he'll he'll make the bet for this game, and at the by the basically when he when he gets back to when he left, he gets his money, and then uh, then he takes that money and he watches another game, and then he goes back and he bets on it. And by the time he and then by the time he gets back to the end of that game, the result has happened, and they, he gets his winnings. Ah. So yeah, there's he, a. Yeah, he, he's watching different. He's watching a series of games because that's the whole point of doing the made madness thing, and why he has the big bracket up on the board. Was he, you, you could see he was writing down the scores, and they were he was following a bracket. I, I know basically nothing about any of that sport gambling shit. I don't do sports. I don't do gambling. I don't do I don't do gambling, but I know a little bit. I know enough to know what a, how that tournament works. To general, uh, once you get past the knockout phase, there's some weird things at the what's well, knockout phase. You get past the initial little play in stuff. I don't remember exactly how that works, but once you get past that, then it's just a straight knockout uh, tournament, and so that's what he's following. And not all the games are running at the uh -huh. same time, so that you can watch a lot, because there might only be. You know, four games at that level at that round, during that round, and so those four games aren't going to be stacked on top of each other. Or if they are, he's watching two games, watching the score of two games, then going back, betting on them, and then going forward again. But okay, yeah, that makes it. I hope that makes it like a little more sense. Uh, yeah, why, because why, why? the way, I, Go ahead. like consecutive, or it's like um, he is going back in time to the same game that he was using. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was using different names. Yeah. Um. Now here's another thing. How is it that um, brain fucked up the uh, space time continuum? Just by going back two hours a bunch of times, but Pinky okay. did it going back whole day. <laughs> um, because first of all, think of it like, okay, have you ever done any kind of um sewing on a machine? Yeah, I've made dresses before. Okay, so you know how. If you go and do a full line, like an entire seam, and then go back over that, it's pretty easy. But if you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth over the same spot, it tends to clog the machine. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Because of the... Or think about it like um, bending a piece of metal. If you bend the metal in a wider curve, it's less likely to snap than if you bend it repeatedly in the same curve. Well, I, yeah, I don't, you know, the thing about the, the good thing about it is that the way he's done it, it doesn't like it's one of those ways of doing it that doesn't really like he's already. From a, it does it doesn't have any paradoxes inherent to it. It's not a, it's not a paradox process because he can go someplace. It's a time can, loop as opposed to a ring. Yeah. Um, yeah, because he can he can go someplace else, and he's already seen the result. He can he can go back in time somewhere else, make the bet, come back after two hours, and he's not even in the same place. You know, you know, two hour for those two hours. He can go someplace else for the two hours during the game, 
and he won't even interact with himself um or whatever the diff time is he won't even interact. like it's not inherently paradoxical because as long as he doesn't check his balance while the game is going on he has no information and so there's no problem um there's no paradox on that um even if he checked the information on this Schrodinger's he banking <laughs> he, he's, he, he, he's not you know, there's no inherent paradox here I think it's just that him ripping the ripping time backwards for himself kept causing problems but it didn't really show especially yeah, well, especially, okay. especially no, no, strongly no. until the last jump a good example of this is um the warp fields in that one sp section of space in next generation like overusing warp drive tears the fabric of space time yeah well, the, and, the, the old style apparently they think they didn't they come up with a new or something they improved it or something to make it less damaging to subspace yeah but the old the old way the way they were using in next gen they screwed up sub uh, they screwed up um subspace in that one section so they couldn't travel through be, uh, through warp because they overused it mm. yeah, essentially he, and essentially brain is dropping an omega molecule <laughs> a, a time travel omega molecule right there and it's causing all sorts of chaos um but yeah i mean it's just it adds up and what does he have what problem does he have with colorado Hey, have you seen Colorado? Oh, that's that's for, uh, when I was there, uh, it was lovely. That's for Resident Alien takes patients Colorado, which is a made-up town, but still. I've only I've been to Colorado once, and it was lovely. At least where I went, but... A few times. So, I guess we found out that... Um, Brain doesn't really like anybody that's as smart or smarter than him. <laughs> like, yeah, which is obviously is not this. It's obviously not this timeline. <laughs> like I said, though, Emperor Brain. Narf. Narf. So. Is the pink we now see an evil imposter? No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because he's always been evil. Eh. eh. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we have the Christopher uh Columbus one. Ah, so uh, another political one. Uh, it's less. Any uh, any groans for this one? It's less political. It's more just historical. Like it's yeah, just true. that this yeah, this is what the, the common like we we fourteen ninety two he sailed the ocean blue. It's like yes, that's true, but <laughs> here yeah, here's all the stuff more... you leave out. It's like, yeah, yes. this is more commentary on American education system because growing up, you always learned that, hey, Columbus discovered America and stuff. And it's like, no, no, you didn't. America was discovered a long time before that. Yeah, there was, you, 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 uh, you have to put a lot of asterisks before that to make that system. A lot of asterisks yeah. and, and oh no, this is oh, footnotes and oh wait, no, no. If you take this into account and if you don't do this and don't count this, then yes, he did this. Yeah. But like, but you'd have to throw a lot of caveats on that. Like, and that's uh, why so many people are against Columbus Day and change it to Indigenous Day because, bro, Columbus was a dick. I I don't care as whatever day it is as long as I get it off and it's paid. 
Yeah, it was either Indigenous yeah. or Leif Erikson, one of the two. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it's like yeah, oh, uh, Leif Erikson came there first, but then even he was the first European that we know of. But then you start going into okay, European, but if the well, first person, well, okay, then you got to go up, go back thousands of years, and. Yeah, <laughs> we are not exactly. sure. We're even exactly sure when the first humans started crossing the Barren Strait. Exactly, like there's a range. And exactly, it's, it's, it's like that, that, that history is so old that it's it's hard to know for certain. And also, where it would where a lot of those artifacts would have been would probably have been up in Alaska, which. Archaeology in Alaska has got to be an absolute pain in the butt because it's just cold and miserable oh, most, most of the year. And you get to the, you know, you get to the summer thaw, and then you might be able to do some digging in the muck, but you, it's just going to turn around and be, you know, it's going to turn around and be iced over. So you have to kind of look at it further down the line, and so. You know, you have to date every, try and date everything, and it's just, it's just a pain in the butt. Oh, hey, but thanks to global warming, that'll be fixed soon. <laughs> but true. But yeah, there's so much that oh. we don't know. We don't know exactly about that. I, I saw a meme. I saw a meme. It's a buy or pan person going. Boys are so hot. Girls are so hot. Why is everyone so hot? And then an ace person being like global warming. But yeah, it's just it's it's hard to do all that sort of like they they they've got a range I think, but they don't like they can't tell you very detailed information about that. Like, and honestly, they don't. The indigenous people don't really care which one of them was first. Just the fact that you know. They were here first. They, but, as people, were here first. Yeah, and, and there's all sorts of the colonizers are just freaking douchebags. Well, <laughs> and we had all sorts of interesting thoughts, like, um, like I don't, I'm vaguely remembering. Like, there's some thoughts that maybe some Polynesians were involved as well in there, and it's like, oh, <laughs> um, like they mostly, <laughs> like I think. I've heard I've heard um, the Native Americans generally came from a, a region that were when they, they started in a region um, uh, the Atlai or something and it was like it's this meeting place of China Russia and Mongolia there's like this three border tri border area that that's if you look at the genetics like there's like genetics and some of the culture but that could be somebody you know messing with me that could be somebody doing some sort of oh no this is where it is no it's hard to say but i don't i'm not that's i'm not an archaeologist i'm not a, you know i don't know that that history well enough to say anything on it so but that's one thing i've heard but yeah uh, but yeah it's like there's so it's it's such a mess that it's 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 been so long ago that it's hard to tell who was where at exactly what time. Like you have, you have some later dates that you know. Okay, we know they were here by this date, but were they here before then? Okay, well we need more evidence to prove that they were here before then. But yeah, this is mostly just okay. Yes, true. 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but here's a whole bunch of other stuff you didn't. They didn't tell you. <laughs> exactly. In order to sort of sanitize it a little bit, and you know, for you know, so that you know, you know, kids can 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 learn about Columbus. It's like, and then they just never get it back around to actually covering what happened. <laughs> um, and... Like, well, technically, he sailed the ocean green. Well. Marine. It's, I mean, it's right there in the name, Aquamarine. But 
yeah, it's just it's just like oh yeah, here's other stuff that happened as well that you should probably also know about. <laughs> Like, well, that's well, I'm glad this is that's true. Love we Freddy. also did this, and so <laughs> um, I'm glad that the uh, little critters finally got the revenge. But uh, anyway, uh, and then we get to fake medicines, uh, <laughs> which was just sort I of. Bet. A, it was funny and it was quick and it was a thing. Um, it was entertaining enough. Take a pill every fifteen minutes. No, that's been fifteen minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, the oh Altai, I think. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Although, um, I was like, I I do have to admit, there. Are are a lot of sayings that come from sailing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the pun counter was pretty good. Goodbye, little one. <laughs> Honestly, most medicine now seems fake, so, um, yeah. I never take it. You need to take all the drugs. <laughs> the only drug I take is caffeine. It helps me sleep. It's ironic that it works that way, isn't it? Yeah, not really. I'm a psycho. I have fucked up brain chemistry. Oh, no, I drink it to sleep, too. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I i mean, it looks like the uh, irreversible aging uh, actually managed to reverse itself, so that's good. <laughs> oh, oh, there, there's uh, one more line. It's like, wait, is that a book from the future? Yeah, it's a long uh, trip 500 years from the future. <laughs> How meta. Yeah, they are definitely immortal time travelers. <laughs> yep. Maybe they they're keep... the doctor's children. Or they keep sneaking I mean, onto the TARDIS and every once in a while the, the doctor just kicks them off and doesn't really care what time he drops them in. <laughs> oh yeah. god, I would love to see that crossover episode. Crossover episode. And hey, they have done an animated doctor, so it's not too far-fetched. <laughs> True. They've, they've animated um, the second Doctor and the first. In fact, I have a few of them that came yesterday. They ordered like them. Old school first and second or new school? There is only one first and second. Okay. So you mean old school then? Wow, they They're animated that? Not the ninth Doctor because the ninth Doctor is what you would call the New school first, but he is not the new school first. He is the ninth. And uh, the tenth is the tenth, not new second. Not second the second. He well, is considering it's tenth. probably like between like 5,000 years between the series. I'm kidding. God, how long was that break anyway before they rebooted Doctor Who? Uh, let's see. Technically. 10 years I think and then another 10 between that so technically 20 years between series but there was a movie in the middle a really crappy movie that I always forget 90% of it because I'm pretty sure there's a silence in there that makes me forget I have not seen that movie I should with Paul McGann Fun fact, one of my bus drivers, because, you know, I take the free bus, so, like, I know most of the bus drivers. One of them is named Paul M. Oh, no. And so, I always think McGann. Well, I don't think we have any more on the episode. Let me think. Yeah, I got nothing. All right. 